me Facebook page. Here, uh, this one's, if you can see here under icon, th this little icon is actually going to be a lot more important to you than this larger icon. So this, this smaller icon, the 16 by 16, is what you're going to see on the left-hand side of your Facebook page. So let's go over back to Coca-Cola. I can show you what I mean. See here down the left-hand side, you can see that little 16 by 16 icon is going to be what you see over here on the left-hand side. So we want to, you know, Coca-Cola used a little house. Um, you know, you can use your logo. Uh, whatever you think is going to work best. So we're going to go ahead and leave these things for now. Um, use our support address. You can go ahead and put in a different address if you want. Um, obviously, I don't want my personal address in, so I'm going to change this to our company, company info address. And you can add any other administrators if you want anyone else to be able to work on this application. That's where you do that down here. We'll go ahead and hit Save Changes. Always make sure you hit Save Changes when you're going through this. Go back to Edit Settings. Under Website, you want to add the URL of your website. So this is the site that you actually are hosting the files on. So ours is www.jgvisual.com. And then we're going to go ahead and put in just the domain name, jgvisual.com. So when we get to the Facebook integration tab, the uh, the most important thing you need to look at here is the Canvas URL. So that's is that this is actually the URL of the folder where all of our files exist. So we're going to go back up here to our uh, where our page is, is actually hosted on our server, and we're going to copy the address uh, of that folder. So not the full URL to the index page, just the uh, the folder. So I went ahead and copied it in. You can see jgvisual.com, content, uploads, Facebook, screencast. Don't worry about secure Canvas URL unless you're using uh, HTTPS. Canvas type is iframe, and then we're going to go ahead and set our iframe size to auto resize. And the reason for this is, again, because it only allows you to, to um, tap 800 pixels tall uh, unless you use this auto resize. So we want to make sure we use this so that we can actually resize the, uh, the height of the page. Down here, this is where we're going to set our tab name. So we're going to call this test tab, but you can set it to whatever we, whatever you want. Um, a lot of people will use welcome. Um, a lot of people, will, some people use home, like Coca-Cola did. Uh, on our page, we use who we are. Make sure the page tab type is iframe, and the tab URL. This is going to be the landing page of um, that you want visitors to fall on. So, and you see here, you can see here, we have Canvas URL.